Let's take this thing from the top tonight, man. Let's take it from the top about the whole debate. I didn't really catch the beginning of it. I don't think I caught the middle. I think I caught the end. But it was very interesting how Trump was throwing his way around, how he was basically bullying Biden and shit. Biden didn't have a whole lot of energy to me. He was very docile. Uh, Trump was throwing little jabs about his son, you know, being on drugs and shit. Hell, half of America on drugs. What the fuck are you talking about? You, you know, and I thought that Biden was going to pull that card from up his sleeve. Be like, motherfucker, did you see your tax return? Nick, you've been basically, if anybody else would have did what you've done with your taxes and shit, they would comb that shit from top to bottom, probably lock their ass up in jail. God damn it. Because you basically been evading taxes. You, you do, do you do what I'm saying? So with that being being said, man, it, it was it was uh, it was comical at, at best, man. He was always trying to talk over him, talk over him, man. The moderator need to be black, goddamn it. And the vice, and the running person that he's running against need to be black because if it would have been me, man, I would have been on his ass like stink on shit, man. On for real, motherfucker. What about all these motherfuckers you've been running around with? You've been chilling with? You've been hanging with? Epstein, I mean, it, it seemed like he was getting, he was trying to get motherfucker personal and shit, man, you, you know, and, and he started talking about statistics about, uh, well, all the cities that, that's kind of failing and this is democratic cities and blah, blah, blah. I would have had to, you know, I'm a statistical person. I'm a statistical guy. I would have been saying, well, let's keep a statistic on in all the cities where blacks are being killed by police officers. Are those Republican or Democrat cities? Huh? Who did the FOP back in those cities? Because that'll be a statistic too. Who did the FOP back in these cities? Did they back a Republican candidate or did they back a Democrat can candidate? You know what I'm saying? Because they kind of vote as a block, as a whole, man. So that would have been a good statistic for, for Biden to try to come up with, man. He was prepared. Uh, I, I don't think he really unloaded. What would he could unload? Because man, I would have been hit when he started coming for my family. Now that's that's personal, you know. You could come for me, but nobody that is here tonight that can't defend themselves, I have to defend them. Lead them out of this. This is not even with you know about them. This is about us in the presidency, about how we can move the country forward and everything. But you know, he started talking about the man's son and shit. I'm like, oh shit, man, you need to kick up a little bit more dust, Biden. You need to get a little bit more bite to your boy. You hear me? You need to put a little bit more mustard on that thing when you're coming at him, man. That's the only thing I can tell you, man. So, you know, he was hitting him up, man, with this and that, the Democrats and, you you know, blah, 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 and everything. And I just thought Biden was going to motherfucking get him, you know, but he didn't. He was a little docile, man. But, you know, that's neat, neither here nor there. We need, as a black people, we need to share. We need to, first of all, make an educated guess have a good hypothesis. We need to keep our ear to the streets. We need to share notes. We need to talk to each other about this shit. This is some open dialogue that we need to motherfucking have with each other, man. We really, really, really need need to have that, man, because uh, my thing is, it's like you damn near voting for two devils. You voting for the devil in red with the pitchfork, and you voting for the devil in red without the pitchfork. But you voting for two goddamn devils. So which devil you gonna pick, man? I don't motherfucking know. Okay, so it's just, you know, it was comical at, at best, man. Biden just, I mean, not Biden. Trump just keep trying to talk over the dude. Just talk on. Man, that motherfucking moderator should have had a mute button. He started getting all. Man, the, the motherfucking moderator said one time, I forgot what uh, uh Biden said. I forgot what I was getting ready to say. The moderator said, I fucking forgot what I was getting ready to say. That's why they should have had a mute button to mute his. He started rambling on. Boop, hit that bitch. And he be like, look, 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 what the fuck? You know, kind of like a comedian on stage. Oh, you don't want to get your ass off stage? Why is this? They ain't going to be able to hear shit you motherfucking said, man. So I think that, man, at the next one, they shouldn't even let let him let him know, you know. Because sometimes you got to check the president, man. You know, everybody can't be an ass kisser around the president. Somebody got to, you, you know, just like in the clique and everything else. Everybody can't be a yes man or a do boy. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to be like, hey, man, this shit fucked up. Let him speak. Let him have his turn. OK, while he's speaking, you should be in your notes trying to come up with, with something or, or have something instead of just trying to over talk him like he was ill advised and he was not prepared for this debate, man. And um, 
you know, it showed. It showed, man. You know, when they put the numbers up after the the, the uh, debate went out, motherfuckers said that they, they couldn't even stomach this shit, man. It showed, man. So, uh, he, you know, Trump main thing was he was like, the cities that uh, have the highest murder rate, the cities where people are getting killed at uh, and everything, and the, and the looting and the fires and all this shit is going on. It's in democratic cities. Well, I'm a statistical guy myself, and I'm very analytical, right? That's why I call myself the pundit. I'm very analytical. And here's something that Biden should have hit him with. Well, in the cities where more blacks are being harassed in their own neighborhoods by goddamn police, in the cities where blacks are being, excuse me, shot by motherfucking police, okay, are those Democrat or are those Republican cities, okay, or states? And if they are, let's find out who the FOP, because the FOP vote as a block. So let's find out who did the FOP vote for in those cities, okay? And, and whoever the FOP voted for, I guarantee you probably be a Republican, but whoever they voted for, let's put that statistic out there too. Because it can be a statistic within a statistic. Also, if you really want to break this shit down to a motherfucking molecule, it can be a statistic within a statistic, man. So I just think that, man, Biden should have, you know, hit him back, man. He should have hit him back. When he throw, you got to count him. You got to count him. Take this with you. Take this with you now. You know, you know what I'm saying? But he wasn't like that. So maybe uh, Camilla or his team will prep him up a little bit more like hey man we need you to have a little bit more vigor we need you to have a little bit more sauce we need you to put a little bit of mustard on that thing man when you throwing that thing at him put a little stank on it too you know what i'm saying so let's stay tuned man see what the next debate and shit is gonna gonna be about see how it's gonna be i've never really watched a debate before i just happened to catch this shit tonight because we're no basketball on tv so i caught the debate tonight you know and i didn't catch all of it i caught the end the end and stuff. So, you know, I happen to, to do that, man. But uh, some more facts and findings is coming out in the uh, Breonna Taylor case, too, man, that where they are trying to, you know, hang goddamn Daniel Cameron upside down. Now, a guy that I was talking to, he was telling me that uh, Daniel Cameron was married to Mitch McConnell's uh, niece or granddaughter or some shit like that. Wrong. He isn't. He married to some other white chick, man. I don't think he's met. No, I'm sorry. He isn't married. He's dating or something like that, or he could be, be married. But I was reading some shit yesterday that Daniel Cameron is 34 and the chick is 27 and they live together. Okay. Or that they are married. I didn't give a fuck, really. I was just trying to see how old he was, how old she was, and just to see if it was, in fact, Mitch McConnell related or some shit like that. But it isn't. So my buddy that told me that, you're wrong. And I'm going to tell you tomorrow. And my cousin told me that too. You're wrong. That's why you always got to go and do a fact check and find out for yourself. So both of y'all motherfuckers wrong. I'm glad that I went and did the, you know, got the information and dug it up myself, man. So, because I never want to put the wrong shit out there for anybody to goddamn listen to. So both of y'all motherfuckers are wrong. That's why people, you got to go do your own motherfucking research and shit. But imagine this. He's in the house with the little white chick. And all them motherfuckers like Portia and, and, and uh, uh, what's the other chick from uh, Love and Hip Hop, New York, Yandy, and all them, Kenny Stills, all them motherfuckers, all them niggas showed up on their yard. Them motherfuckers probably like, ooh, baby, it's a whole lot of black people out here on our yard. Please call the Metro, please call the local Metro police. He probably looking at that. There's a bunch of niggas out here, baby. You know what I'm saying? That shit was, man, I know that. I would have loved to build some walls in that goddamn house to hear what that conversation was like when they seen all them people. Y'all hurry up. Get the fuck here ASAP. Motherfuckers on my lawn. You know what I'm saying? That shit was fucked up, man. But I would have I loved to goddamn see that shit, man. But, you know, with, with all that being said, there's going to be some more facts and findings in the Breonna Taylor case that's going to come out tomorrow here in Louisville. They're going to release the, the uh, transcripts from all the jurors and shit. So, you know, we're going to find out some more stuff tomorrow, and I'm going to be able to hit y'all up with some more stuff tomorrow, man. Until then, stay black, stay strong. Later.